waste no time. If you can describe uh, the, the feeling you had when you walked through the tunnel for that very first time and the opportunity to take that picture with Champ and Sandra uh, right after you walked. First of all, like I said, uh, butterflies. I've had it three times um, as a professional. My first game in the NFL and the Super Bowl. And then my first game as a head coach. <laughs> um, that was special. But the other part that was special is the history that we made today. Black president, female, black general manager, Champ Kelly, and then obviously myself. Um, you don't take that for granted. Um, again, humbled by the opportunity. And when you look at it, it's just something that, you know, if it goes forever, if it doesn't, you know, for that one moment, we had that opportunity. You know, if it's the next nine games or so, whatever, let it be. But uh, very humbled. Rarely in life do you get a do-over. Mark Davis has a do-over in front of him. Uh, he blew it when um, he ignored what was right in front of him with Rich Passaccia and mm. decided to go and in, in his infatuation with the Patriot way, go mm. and hire Dave Ziegler and Josh McDaniels. Now, look, here's the thing. Maybe it was one game. Didn't feel like one game. This doesn't feel like we referenced Jim Mercer a second ago. So it feel like a Jeff Saturday situation, who ironically beat Josh McDaniels Raiders in his first game, which says more about McDaniels in hindsight than it does about Jeff Saturday. Um, but anyway, it's like it, it felt like it was bigger than one game, and it feels yeah. like something that like if Mark Davis is true to his word, he's not already got made up in his mind what he thinks he wants in his next head coach or who he thinks he wants as his next head coach and general manager or if he doesn't have it made up in his mind how that person is supposed to get in the door then it's right there in front of him because the vibes around this organization have been I, I imagine a breath of fresh air and that team so for them to go out there and perform under these circumstances with a rookie quarterback, a rookie, a rookie coach, and the Giants got their own problems. But yeah, they get right. paid too, as they say. For them to go out there and perform like that, to me, shows that Antonio Pierce has it. He just needs what, what Mark Davis has not given anybody, which is time. He just needs time. Let him grow in the role. Let Sham Kelly grow into the role. Let Aiden O'Connell, whoever the next quarterback is, let him grow into the role. But the culture and the vibe and the energy is there. They respond to this guy. Don't ignore this. Don't think, oh, that's cute. This is nice. But, you know, I, I, I want, I want a, another 49ers assistant. I want to pick off of that tree. Like, Grow where your roots are, or where you where you planted, or whatever the saying is. You understand what I'm saying? Like he's right there. Yeah, I got you. He, yeah. He's right there. Don't get cute with this. There's something here. There's a there there. They played for this man. They responded to this man. Unlike the other coach, Michael. And I'll get a two for one here before I pass it to you. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. How brain how brainwashed do you have to be? Reportedly, allegedly, allegedly in a team meeting. When Antonio Pierce says, we got to have an attitude that we can win every game, like the 2007 Giants did, we beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl, but Josh McDaniels to then go and say, don't talk about the Patriots like that again. Are you out your rabbit ass mind? You don't work for the Patriots no more. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Bill Belichick that's can't right. save you. That's right. That's oh right. my God. See, and, like it's a it's sickness. sickness. The Patriots' it, it way might actually be a it sickness a, it, more no, than it, it is a virtue. And, and, uh, <laughs> it is. It is sick. And here's the thing: you said you said a lot of good stuff there. First of all, Mark, let me help Mark Davis out. Mark Davis, you already got the Patriot way. You got the Patriot way. You know why? It's a shot. It's a cheap shot. I'll take it anyway. Because you got Tom Brady on your ownership team. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's the Patriot way. Yeah, it ain't yeah. Josh McDaniels. It's all you need. It's exactly. Tom Brady. You had Tom Brady. Yeah. Now you want to have him play quarterback? McDaniel, I don't know. Yeah, and, wait, wait, and McDaniels. Hey, let's let's take back that whole offensive guru tag we gave. We know he ain't a head coach. He ain't even offensive guru. You saw that offense yesterday for a defensive yeah. coach. Like that's the I best mean, offense they've had since he's been there. <laughs> and, and so. And so let, let, let's stop with the Patriot, the Patriot way stuff. You know, it don't work. Like, it don't work like that. Just by osmosis. Well, I'll get one of his assistants. I'll get one of his cousins. You know, I'll, I'll get somebody who just kind of cross paths with him. It doesn't work like that. Now, back to Mark Davis. Mark Davis, you said if he's true to his word. Well, Mark Davis, the problem is he is true to his word, but he's got a lot of words. He's got a lot of words. And so took over in 2011 and we just every year on average, we get another head or interim coach for the Oakland slash Las Vegas Raiders. And so Mark Davis has to convince himself, be convinced that this one is right. I mean, we've, we've seen so many people, people you forgot about, Mike. You forgot about Jack. You forgot, we got Jack Del Rio was there and Hugh Jackson and Dennis Allen and all these cats. They were like, Tony Sperano was there. I forgot that Tony Sperano was the head coach of the Raiders in the last 12 yeah. years. It's just too many people. Yeah. Too much stuff yeah. going on. So stick with Antonio Pierce and you may be going in the right direction. But I, I, I do wonder though, because I, I, I see a I see a dynamic developing and I don't think it's always fair. But it's it really is fair in the case of the Raiders. I feel a sense of hey, our new boss played the game. Our old boss, he ain't played a game. He don't really understand us. I, and I don't think that was the issue of player, non-player. Maybe it's just that mentality. I think there was a spirit uh, in the Raiders organization, and I want to I wanna learn more about it. Not enough to write a book, but to write a nice article. Give me about <laughs> 1,800, 1800 2,200 words. I'm good for it. I want to know what was happening in that organization, Mike, where all of these yeah. dudes to a man were just like, oh, I mean, they were kicking it. They they, they, they had a great team. They won a game 30 to 6. They feel so smoking, free, so smoking liberated. that Josh McDaniel have, pack, as they yeah. say. Yes. And or they, even during they, the week Josh playing McDaniels, basketball. It was some ding dong or Rich is dead what type happened? shit. What well, really but happened? even just don't you but want, even the fact don't that McDaniel know what really happened. Oh, absolutely. But but I know enough to know that like he was in over his head again. It's like he didn't know how to respond when they actually had the nerve to, to challenge him to adjust and correct his ways. Didn't know how to respond. Just, just was shook was done. Hey, thank you for watching brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM channel 85.